tax season is kicking off and major backlogs aren't the only concern for taxpayers this year. Jerry Willis reports on the IRS's new plan for a facial recognition requirement to access your data. A new program being launched by the IRS will require you to scan your face and provide other personal data enable, in order to be able to access your online tax data. The IRS hiring a third-party company, ID.me, as gatekeeper to verify filers' identity, claiming facial recognition is the most secure way to file. Charles Reddick, IRS commissioner, saying this, identity verification is critical to protect taxpayers and their information. The IRS has been working hard to make improvements in this area, and this new verification process is designed to make IRS online applications as secure as possible. But taxpayer trust in the IRS is extremely low, due in part to scandals like the targeting of Tea Party groups by the IRS in 2013 leading some to question whether the information gathered by ID.me will be shared with the nation's largest tax collector or other federal agencies. ID.me says the IRS doesn't see biometrics. It's simply confirmation that the person is legitimate. Listen. We match a, a selfie to the photo on your government ID. It's called one-to-one -one matching. It's what you do Every time you unlock your smartphone, we want to be crystal clear that we do one-to-one -one matching. We're not doing any, any type of surveillance programs or anything of that nature. He added that the only case in which information from the company's scans might be shared with federal agencies is in the cases of fraud, when a scammer is posing as a taxpayer. Now, with Monday being the first day that 2021 tax returns will be accepted, the IRS is facing a critical tax season. Just before Christmas, the agency still had 6 million unprocessed returns from last year. And President Biden has made moves to increase their workload by looking at digital payment apps. By June, facial recognition will be the only way to log into irs.gov. That's where people check in on child tax credit updates uh, and online payment updates. It's a long way to go for an agency whose some of their processing equipment is 40 years old.